Hello everyone. I am Yu Shakti from SRM Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, today we are going to uh, learn about planning in AI. Let us look at the agenda of today's session. Uh, introduction to planning and um, types of planning, non-linear planning, conditional planning and reactive planning. First, we will see what is planning in AI. Generally, in planning is an important task in uh, artificial intelligence. Planning is needed for every task. For example, uh, if you are going for trip or a tour, it requires planning. To visit some tourist place, uh, first, uh, we must find the best route with the minimum time and with minimum cost. Then we have to find set of actions to be executed at a particular time is called planning. Planning is deciding a set of actions to be performed in an agent-based environment based on the observations to achieve the goal. For any planning system, we need the domain description, action description, and goal description. Uh, determining the sequence of actions performed by the software or the robot to achieve a specific goal is called planning. So planning is very important task in AI projects. Uh, what are what's the input of planning process? So we first we must describe the initial state of the problem solution space, and we have to describe the goal state, what we have to achieve, and description of an actions set of actions to be performed to achieve the goal from an initial state, and what's the output? It's a sequence of actions. And we will see what is preconditions. So plan is a set of sequence of actions performed to achieve a specific task or goal. So each action has a set of preconditions. All preconditions must be satisfied before executing the actions. If the preconditions are satisfied, then the actions will be executed. There are two types of planning, classical planning and non-classical planning. Here, first one, classical planning is deterministic. The environment is deterministic. We can predict the environment, the nature of the environment. And it is fully observable. So we can observe the uh, things, uh, what, are, what is happening around the environment. And it is static. It won't change. The environment factors or actions that won't change. That is called classical planning. And come, uh, comes to second one, non-classical planning. That is non-deterministic. We cannot find what is going to happen in the environment. And it is dynamic. It is keep on changing. So we cannot predict. We cannot uh, say uh, this is going to be done. So that is non-deterministic. And it is dynamic. And first, we will see what is non-linear planning. Plan consists of set of sub-problems which are solved simultaneously is said to be a non-linear planning. So we have one problem. The problem can be divided into a number of sub-problems. The sub-problems can be solved simultaneously, then can be solved in parallel. That is called non-linear planning. Here we have set of steps, S1, S2, S3 and SN. We have a number of steps. Uh, here, the steps, some steps can be executed in parallel to achieve the goal state. It consists of all possible sub-goals in the solution space tree. And it allows goal interactions by goal interleaving method. So one goal uh, state can be connected with another goal state. For example, we have task one, take the car for service. And task two is important phone call. Here, uh, let if you want to take the car for servicing and uh, another task, we have to make a call, important phone call. So to complete these two tasks, the two tasks are uh, independent. So what we can do is we can do the task in parallel. Uh, that is interleaving, uh, task interleaving. Rather than completing both the tasks in linear way, one after another, 
Uh, that is after completing of task one, task two can be performed. That is called non-linear. In the case of non-linear, uh, for example, uh, we can start the car. Uh, we can drive the car in parallel at the same time. We can put uh, Bluetooth and we can talk. We can attend the phone call while driving the car. And finally, um, uh, task one can be completed uh, and the car can be reached at the destination servicing point. So the task can, two can be uh, completed. So here the task one, task two is uh, performed in parallel so that the time can be reduced. There's a concept of constraint posting that comes with the non-linear planning. The constraint posting uh, states that the plan can be built by addition of operators or adjusting operators. Second one, ordering them. The third one, minding the variables to the operators. This is called linear planning and versus non-linear planning. In the case of linear planning, set of actions are per performed one after another. In the case of non-linear programming, we have the initial state and the three st uh, actions can be performed in parallel and we can achieve the goal state. Here, uh, in case of non-linear uh, planning, we have the initial state and goals. Here, the input is initial state and set of goals. The first step, choose a goal G from the goal state. We have a set of goals. So, choose the first goal that is G. If the uh, goal G does not match with the current state G, then uh, add preconditions to the goal state. While all preconditions are satisfied in the particular state, then we can apply the operator on the current state and execute the plan. So, these are the steps in non-linear programming problem. And what's the advantage of non-linear programming? Non-linear planning uh, problems. So it gives optimal solution. But it takes larger space by considering all the possible sub goal states. Here algorithm complexity is more because the task is performed in parallel. So the uh, algorithm complexity is more. And when we come to conditional planning, the environment is indeterministic partially observable and dynamic. The information available is incomplete and subject to change. Here we have the term is called bounded indeterminacy. What is bounded indeterminacy? It is defined as a condition in which actions can result into unpredicted outcomes. But it is possible to get the listing of the possible outcomes. Here we cannot predict the outcomes, but we can list out the possible outcomes. Here, the information available is incomplete. Uh, in such a case, the plan generator is actually correct, but due to some uh, issues or some circumstances changes, it turns out to be less strong. So take one more case. When plan is hampered, if the exam schedule is changed, in all these scenarios, there's a need to handle the incompleteness. So we are going for the concept called yeah, bounded indeterminacy. It is defined as a condition in which action can result into unpredicted outcomes. But it is possible to get the listing of all the possible outcomes. For, ex for example, if you visit a person without intimation, then there is an uncertainty that the person may be at home or may not. Hence, there is an unpredicted outcome from the known set. So planning is very much possible with this boundary indeterminacy. In condition planning, it handles this information. A simple approach to this is to construct the plan with the possible outcomes. Condition planning can occur in fully observable as well as partially observable environment. The major drawback of conditional planning is that they can be harder than the NP complete problem. Still, what we can say about the space requirements of the approach is they are large enough. It occupies more memory in a computer uh, systems. So conditional planning is also referred as contingency planning. So it is a planning approach which can handle the various uh, contingencies that can arise. These type of planners belong to the category of non-deterministic domains. 
where dependency lies on the parameters other than the current state. So the thing is the conditional planning can occur in a fully observable as well as partially observable environment. And um, conditional planning uh, that uh, system can be built by the addition of operators or suggesting operators and we can order the operators binding the variables to the operators. So for example, the planning, conditional planning systems are uh, like a tweak or uh, margin or non-linears. So it consists of conditional steps. If condition, then execute plan A, else execute plan B. For example, vacuum cleaner. If at right and clean, then move right, else suck. So this is the condition planning. And next to come to uh, reactive planning. Reactive planning is uh, under uh, uncertainty. Uh, it uses if then rules and some cases it uh, use some uh, conditions. Uh, here uh, rather than building the plan with the branches, it makes use of if then rules. Um, it is uh, the reactive planners are based on the concept that they should be able to handle unknown situations too. So the reaction tools are used to do that help them in doing so. But there is also need to have reasoning while applying the reaction rules. The reaction rules are um, prioritized. Here, uh, based on the, uh, the reactive planners, based on the concept that it should be able to handle unknown situations. The reaction rules are prioritized. The rule selection is based on the priority and hold and holding a current conditions. The actions can be uh, active, preactive, and inactive. The rule which is uh, at present in execution is said to be active, whereas uh, the ones with holding priority are called preactive, and the others are inactive. Many times the reactive planning suspension can occur in the rule that is at present execution. Here, the B tree structure is used in reactive planning where algorithm selects the rule. Thank you all. Thank you.